guys, welcome to another Anchor Tuesday where we go about trying to fix the things that are broken or need upgrades. This is designed to replace the uh, e logs that we used to have that are kind of popular in, in the channel back in the day, the do it yourself videos. So, what we're doing is revisiting the Alpha 1286 MacBook. Pro 2011 version, 15 inch, and here we are going to show the different tools that I'm using. I'm donning my personal protective equipment, anti-static gloves, which have holes in it, and this is the thermal paste we'll be using to redo the dies. And we also have 16 gigs of DDR3 to uh, upgrade the, the eight that were faulty in here. Uh, we had the three beep errors, so it indicates that there's it. So there's no problem with the RAM. We're also gonna install an, an extra SSD inside of the hard drive caddy. The person that gave me the laptop, a worker, said uh, as long as I take care of this, it can make it work, and it would be mine. So he let me know that there was a hard drive caddy in there for an extra thing. He, he thought I was gonna put an optical disc in there. I uh, forgot to tell me about that. Anyway, these actual cables, they have a name. They're actually flex cables. I just found out that out. So here I am putting the SSHD in here. By the way, it's a hybrid uh, solid state drive. I was going for cheap. All in all, I spent about $200 uh, repairing this laptop, which uh, back in the day cost quite a quite a bit, about 1500 or I think 1700 at its full plot price. It's not bad, it's got an i7, a 4 core, and uh, it was a maximum of 8 gigs of RAM. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. I forgot to mention there are seven screws, seven, I uh, guess, silver, or I think they're dark black screws that you have to remove from the mo to free the motherboard. There are 11 connections that you have to free. You saw me remove the left uh, fan. There is a, a small connection that's on there that is easy to damage if you don't remove it. There's a small clip that you have to unclip and then release it. So here we are at the logic board, removing it. I, uh, someone messaged me and asked me if I replaced the thermal paste on this thing, and good eye, I, I did not. So I'm gonna go and see uh, what's under there. Uh, the person that sold me this thing did not uh, just uh, advertise it as something that came out of a working board, so that probably has a stock, yeah, it has a stock uh, thermal paste on it. It's usually, well, when I open this, is a bit goopy. So here I am cleaning it with 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips.
So this method of applying thermal paste and a spudger is new. I usually put a dye a tiny bit, but uh, after uh, reading a bunch of research, seeing uh, which is the best way to put thermal paste on, uh, the differences in temperatures are ne negligible. But I wanted to make sure that whatever I put on doesn't go overflow, <laughs> kind of like that. And uh, I use it an exact amount so that's why i use the spreader i was careful not to add any uh, air pockets but the only way to see that is uh, through a microscopic lens and i don't have that my eyes are kind of bad so when uh re when putting back the screws you have to put it in a, in a zigzag fashion so that the it's evenly distributed across the dies otherwise it's easy to crack those uh, dies and I have a two, uh, hundred dollar uh, paperweight. I've never heard of this brand called ATEC, but this company that the original RAM came from uh, is said is made in China, but this uh, ATEC company says it's made in the US. I don't know, the things that I'm buying now, they have different origins, which I thought was kind of different, but we'll, we'll see how this RAM works. I, I did encounter the 3B better again, so that rules out the RAM. Well, I'm not entirely sure what's uh, the problem. So here I am opening and I'm opening, checking, unchecking if any connections are loose or whatnot, repositioning the RAM. You know, the, the average uh, troubleshooting steps that you usually do when you're like the RAM.
and here I am trying to Google forums, MacBook forums, to see what's going on. My RAM isn't working at this point. I'm, I took off the gloves, so you know something's wrong. Let's see. Here I am trying to figure out why it's not booting. It's not even showing a display. I was like, uh, the most expensive thing to replace is the display. So I didn't want that to be the thing. I kept reading and reading. Then uh, eventually I figure it out. There's a there's a slot on the board. When the uh, so, uh, there's no way of telling this until you test it. That the the person that sold me this uh, logic board probably knew. The second slot is uh, inoperative or not working, but it, it took me a while to figure it out. So I was approaching my hour mark and I really wanted to fix this before that. That was always, it's always a goal of mine. I went a little bit over, but then after checking everything, I finally tried something different. This is the key. This is what fixed this laptop. And here we go. That's what you want to hear. The dinging noise and screen lighting up. So the, the keys that I'm pressing are the command option or yeah, the command option, pop a Romeo key. I give the thumbs up, booting, and it's recognizing the drives. Got the Mac OS High Sierra install. This is all from a USB stick. So the command option, pop a Romeo, uh, resets the NVRAM. So any settings that it at 8 gigs of RAM or whatnot are going to be clear just just to make uh, just a double check. So here I am formatting the new drive. So I, I used it in a Windows computer, so it has a MBR record in it, which uh, isn't a format that Mac needed, so I had to uh, reformat it. So this takes a long process. I think I speed up the video, but it, it takes it takes a long time. Apologize if I don't speed it. Oh, okay, it's speeding up now. And uh, I'm gonna call this good. I, I'm, I'm not gonna take you through the installation part. These uh, do-it-yourself videos are primarily hardware-based, but I will, in the next uh, episode, I'll show you the progress. I'm actually using the Mac now. It's only uh, 8 gigs of RAM, which I, uh, I want to fix so that I could use 16 gigs. So I ordered a part that needs to be uh, soldered, possibly uh, the memory RAM module areas. So hopefully that can go well. Uh, well, uh, I'll see you in the next Anchor Tuesday. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And uh, for those that do uh, contact me on social media, I appreciate it. You guys keep me on my toes. If you do, like this uh, kind of content please consider subscribing uh, ding that bell and uh, every three days you'll have a notification it's a really great way to support the channel we're almost at a hundred subscribers and once we do that the goal of mine would be complete so we'll achieve the goal of changing the username from Mazadan to Nazadan which I prefer because it's what I've been saying anyway like follow comment or subscribe ding that bell and I'll see you in three days with John Nazadan signing out take care and remember you are essential